planet Earth, the city Tokyo. Like all cities on the face of this planet, Tokyo is losing the battle against man's deadliest enemies, waste and pollution. Despite the efforts of local and world government, the air, the sea and the land may soon lose their ability to support life of any kind. Who will help? Spectre Man. Oh, look, he's coming, sir. Yes, I can see that. Hmm. Well, shall we? Oh, yes, sir, we shall. <laughs> Dr. Gory? Yes, I am. And you are the emissary from the planet Janus. We have been awaiting you, my friend. The reason I had you come to this planet was to help me annihilate all of the people here. Well, do you have any suggestions as to procedure? I do. It's called Operation Genocide. Oh, Operation Genocide? Exactly. We'll make the Earthlings kill each other off. It's very simple. Good. Explain yourself. Our scientists on Yenos have concluded that killing all the Earthlings by using atomic weapons would be foolish. Mankind would disappear, but the planet Earth would be uninhabitable for centuries. And what would that gain us? Nothing. I agree, but you still haven't explained just how Operation Genocide would work. Yeah. Like oh. this. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, uh, what's he doing? Oh, you can't frighten me. <laughs> Oh, 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 that really hurts, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Karras, Karras, good Lord, he's dead, he's killed him. Uh, oh, Karras. Yes. Well, why did you kill him? As an experiment? Well, I'll kill you. Wait, Dr. Gorey. I'll bring him back to life you now. What? Here. Watch. What in the name of seven galaxies are you doing? <laughs> why, why, that's marvelous. Why, he's alive. I was worried there for a time, Karras. <laughs> Kill. What's gone into you? Kill. Control yourself, Karras. Come, what is that, you fool? Kill. My secret formula has brought him back to life, but I've turned him into a killer. <laughs> Janus, help me. Will you please help? Oh, oh, oh my head. Oh. Uh, what is that formula? Karras, uh, let go of me. Karras, uh, stop now. Uh, Come on. Uh, All right. Uh, yes, new master. Oh. Uh, All right. Just what is that formula? It took years for our leading scientist to develop this magical drug. We call it our killer formula. A killer formula? This is the heart of Operation Genocide. Genocide. By producing this killer formula in mass quantities, we'll create thousands of bloodthirsty murderers oh. all over the planet. Right. Before long, every man, woman, and child on Earth will be dead. A masterful plan. The Earth will be crushed, and I will be her ruler. <laughs> 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 to Operation Genocide! Oh, to Genocide! To Genocide! This boy's name is Johnny Haita. His parents are dead, and he's being raised by his aunt and uncle. Johnny is gifted with the mysterious power of extrasensory perception. He is often able to predict what will happen in the future. 
but no one is aware of this. I feel strange. There's danger outside, I know that. I'll call headquarters. Police headquarters? Come quick. You call the police? What's wrong here? Oh, we didn't call you. Someone here called police headquarters, I'm sure. I'm sorry. No one here called the police. I did it. I called the police. You did. Why did you do that? Officer, I had to tell you. The Earth is in danger. Invaders from space are going to attack. Huh? Are you sure of this? Officer, if you don't act quickly, time is going to run out. Please, Johnny, I told you to stop doing this. I'm sorry. This is really embarrassing. The boy's imagination is a little overactive, and he's always making up these stories. <laughs> Look, it's the truth. Be quiet now. I'm sorry to say this. Johnny often embarrasses us in the neighborhood. Please forgive us. I'll promise we'll watch him from now on. We're really terribly sorry. You're lucky. We won't do anything to you this time, Johnny. Good day. Goodbye. Really? fault. You were in a real hurry, huh? But I don't know where to go. Huh? You know what? They're going to try and kill all of us. Who is? The invaders. They're going to try and kill us. So that's why we have to act right now. No. going on? What's happening? My head hurts. It happens every time I make a prediction. You're not a human. I could tell the second I saw you. You know that's the truth, don't you? No, it's not. Why do you say that, Johnny? I have a feeling you're some sort of spaceman or something, right? I'd better go. Why won't anyone listen to me? There's danger. George was deeply disturbed by his meeting with Johnny. How could his true identity be unmasked by a little boy? Johnny's prediction about an impending disaster was right. A tragedy occurred in the heart of the city that very evening. <laughs> you can't catch me. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Look out now. <gasps> This was the case in the other murders committed yesterday. The killer's victims were young couples in their early 20s, all attacked for no apparent reason. The tragic toll thus far, 18 dead and two of the victims in critical condition. The identity of the killer, who died from the gunshot wounds inflicted on him in his fight with the police, has not been revealed as yet. It's incredible. I don't know what to say. And all young couples as well. It's really awful. Did you hear? The last thing the killer said was some sort of code word. Genocide. Genocide. What do you suppose that means? That's brother killing off brother. Greetings, everyone. Where have you been, George? You're late. I was over at police headquarters. I have an idea about those murders. You did tell us about it. the latest bulletin on the killer's identity. According to a statement released by the chief of the Homicide Bureau, the killer was a well-known criminal who had been shot down by police while attempting to hold up a bank last week. He'd been buried last That's ridiculous, you know. How could he be dead? was identified as a former member of the notorious gang of bank robbers that has been terrorizing the metropolitan area for the past several months. The police are attempting to unravel the mystery of how a criminal known to be dead and buried could have resurfaced to commit new crimes. And that's all the news till now. Stay tuned for all the late bulletins on this strange case from the police. This thing's ridiculous. How can a dead man commit murder? I don't understand. That little kid I saw was right. 
boss. This little kid said that he could foresee what was going to happen. How did he know? He claims to have psychic powers. He says he can predict things. He says invaders are going to attack us all. Well, the whole thing doesn't sound too scientific. Only that boy does offer us a chance. The police seem to be stuck, and we might be able to help them. Now, the first thing we have to do is find this boy and see what he can tell us about these invaders who want to kill us all. Huh? Well, you know, boss, he also said that spacemen were involved. Huh? No kidding. You wait here, okay? Right. Johnny. Uh huh? Yeah. Aren't you glad to see me? Sure. You don't look it. Why are you always alone? I once had lots of friends. But now I don't have any. Yeah, I should have stayed and talked to you yesterday. Johnny, how can you predict what's going to happen? I can't explain it. My head begins hurting real bad and I see things. Ever since you were little? Mm-mm. Papa and Mama died. I got pretty depressed then. I began thinking about them both all day. One day I started to see. And ever since then I can predict things. You know, Johnny, your Mama and Papa are dead. But I'm like you and you and I are going to be pals, you know? Yeah. Johnny going to be a help to us. You know that? We can use you. You can? No kidding. I want you to help us on this case, if you'd like to. We could save thousands of lives. I'd like to work with you and be your friend. We are friends, Johnny. You're on our team now. Mm-hmm. Johnny, do you have any clues you could give us? Oh, I see dead bodies. Did you say dead bodies? The invading aliens are bringing crooks back to life so they can kill again. Bringing them back to life? Uh-huh. Try to see. Johnny. You must get into your Jeep and start out. You'll meet the aliens in a hearse. That's the only clue I have now. We've gone about 30 miles, but there's no sign of a hearse. I'm sure I saw it. Look, there's a hearse. That's it. Yeah. Let's go on foot. Right. <laughs> hmm. It looks like an old hospital. Let's look around. Johnny, you'd better wait for us here. And if you see anything, signal us somehow, okay? Okay. Let's go. Why not? I'm going in. Wow. Looks completely deserted. Yeah, it does. See something? Inside there. Producing some new kind of chemical or something. Huh. I thought this clinic was abandoned. I don't like this at all. Hmm. Come on. Okay. You go that way.
I bring them back to life. I have brought you back to life for one purpose alone, so you may kill as many people as you can. This is Operation Genocide. <laughs> Genocide! Excellent. think your pitiful efforts will be able to stop Operation Genocide? Nothing can stand in our way. Wait and see. Before long, the planet Earth will be ours. <laughs> ah! You saw him bring this man back to life and turn him into a killer. That's right, I did. I'll call headquarters now. Right. But wait a second. I think that... What's wrong? I feel kind of strange. Listen, Johnny, don't force yourself. You mustn't overuse your power. <laughs> Leave me alone. I saw it. They're going to use the dinosaur. A dinosaur? Are you sure? Sure. And if we don't act quick, they're going to destroy our town. We will. We'd better call it. Okay. We're going to need a lot of help. Right. Let's go. We have sufficient quantities of our killer formula. Now we need thousands of fresh bodies so we can turn them into killers. Down there lies Tyrannosaurus Rex, one of the fiercest monsters who ever lived. He'll destroy the city, and the dead will become our new killers uh -huh. for Operation Genocide. <laughs> <laughs> Rex, go and destroy the cities and kill! Yeah. We need bodies for Operation Genocide. Genocide! Genocide. Dinosaur? That's what I said. George and the youngster are on their way to stop him. But they'll never do it. He told me to ask you to get help now. Boss, we better go. Get everything ready. I want us all there within the hour. Yes, okay. Monster, we're too late. It isn't. You can turn into Spectre Man. How did you know that? I realized who you were yesterday. It's okay. I won't tell. Listen, Johnny. I trust you. It's our secret. I'm ready.
Spectre Man be able to destroy Tyrannosaurus Rex before he claims thousands of lives? And what about Operation Genocide? Will Spectre Man's colleagues arrive in time to help foil Dr. Gory's fiendish plan to kill everyone on Earth? Be sure to watch the next thrilling episode of Spectre Man. Spectre Man!